Hey Sparkle Squad, today we're gonna create these. Let's learn a little bit about the queen herself while we make some beautiful Renaissance tour inspired DIY crafts. What should we start with? Um, start with this one. This is probably gonna be the easiest one. All right, so we're gonna do these one at a time. A box here of 24 of these and guys look how cute these are little two ounce jars what did i learn about see that's not really gonna work because it won't wrap around that lip right there start down a little further she was born on september 4th 1981 i know there's like a whole bunch of drama about like how old is she or is she real whatever okay so apparently she was born on september 4th 1981 and that would make her like 42 which makes sense because I'm in my 40s and I have never known a time without Beyonce. Okay, so we're gonna get over here and uh, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to, it's probably easier to do with this. Let's see what happens. I mean, guys, this is, you know, I'm doing this and figuring it out while I'm filming it. So we may make some mistakes and that's okay. Yeah, see, I cut that too. She was born in Houston, Texas to Tina and Matthew Knowles. And now I cut it too short. Get it together, Raffaella. Matthew, her father, was a Xerox copy salesman. Her mother was a, she owned like a, a beauty salon. She was a hairdresser. And I think the salon was called like Headliner Salon or something. Guys, is that so crooked? This is gonna be harder than I thought. Um, the other two are probably gonna be so much easier. But anyways, we're figuring it out. If you've ever wondered how you would wrap a mason jar with rhinestones, well, you can watch me struggle and laugh. Be kind. She was raised in a pretty nice house. Like I saw a picture of the house she grew up in and I think it was like a three bedroom house, but it was, it was, it was pretty. I mean, certainly was not like a house that anyone would be ashamed to live in. And she went to like a Montessori school where from what I understand, one of her teachers like heard her sing something once and was like, wait, sing that again? And realized that, oh, like this girl has a voice on her she started singing, which of course you would if you had a voice like Beyonce's. That's round one. Okay, so she started singing and then she and a bunch of her friends from the school, so she, she has a sister, Solange, which probably most people know. She and a bunch of her friends from that Montessori school, they formed a group, which I think originally was called Girls Time. And there were like five people in the group. She went to school also with a girl named Kelly Rowland or Roland, however you want to pronounce it, who apparently had a somewhat crazy home life. And then Beyonce's family apparently ended up taking legal guardianship of Kelly Rowland and ultimately, oh, this is so cute. And ultimately she moved in with them. So that was nice of them. So Kelly Rowland was one of the girls in the group or like i said i think five in the beginning they were very talented all the things and went on to uh, end up on star search which if you're my age you know what star search i guess like it would be the american idol of the 80s right basically if you won on star search your career got launched well i think they thought that they were gonna win all of that and they didn't win i think they were like second runner up or however that went i don't really remember what do you guys think oh this is glittery goodness <laughs> i am here for this so they lost, which I've heard in an interview with Beyonce where she was just like you know, pretty devastated by that because I don't think that they had even, because she was like nine or something. Can you imagine being on Star Search at nine? <laughs> no. That's how you know your girl is like crazy talented. Lost on Star Search, but continued to perform. But her father took manage, like he quit his job at Xerox apparently and started managing them. So first off, like kudos to her dad for doing that because that's, that's some dedication, right? What do you guys think? Oh, she is pretty. She is beautiful. I mean, I, I guess if you had like a thinner ribbon, you could go around here, but I'm not that worried about it. She's super cute. All right, goodbye. So that's how that works. And guys, obviously I will have everything linked down below if you want this stuff. And again, I'm gonna do the product reviews to tell you like what I think about them. He started managing them and then, you know, they started to have more success, obviously, because they have one person like focusing on their management. Makes sense. So this is the rhinestone ribbon roll. I think it's five yards. It um, unboxings, like I said, of, of all of these products. Y'all let me know what you think of those. Like I just love all the crinkly, crunchly, the little ASMR sounds. So I started filming them, which I didn't used to do. 
y'all let me know what you think. He starts managing them and then they get signed by, I think it was Electra Records. Which one should we do next? Um, we're gonna save the glitter for last because it's the messiest, but I have a system. This is the one I'm actually most intimidated by, but we're gonna do it anyway. Five by five millimeter um, recall, mirror tiles. They are self-adhesive. Feels pretty sticky. So we're just gonna go with it, see what happens. Whew, I am scared to do this. All right, I guess the best way would be, see how tall the bottle is. So I'm gonna cut like right here. Ooh, or not. Am I gonna cut it? I don't know, maybe not. I guess I'm just gonna rip it. Oops, that leaves that exposed, which I don't love, but I'll just cover it with wax paper. Okay, and um, apparently like Electra Records picked them up and then released them before they even cut an album, which I don't know the like history or the drama on it. I'm sure somebody does. And guys, you know, if you know more about, I just did like very superficial research, but you know, let us let us all know if, if I'm missing things. Let's see, what do we think? I think I still have one too many rows. And then they got signed by some other, um, I think it was called Grassroots or something like that. They were still pretty obscure. And then they were signed by Columbia Records, like in the 90s. If memory serves me correctly, they had a song in Men in Black. I think it's called Killin' Time or something. Anyways, that was the song that kind of like put them on the map for the majority of people. If you know that movie, <laughs> if you don't know that movie, where are you living? How do you not know Men in Black? Oh, slay, accidental slay. All right, I didn't think I was even gonna be able to do this in one sheet, so let's just see what happens. They do that movie, or they do that song in that movie, and um, I know, I'll fix that. I saw it, guys. Relax, it's okay. We're gonna get through this, maybe. Oh, this stuff is beautiful. I know, I can't sing, relax. You don't need to tell me. Oh, well, that was almost perfect. And these are gonna be like set together in a little set. Ooh, these are so cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pull off this row and then maybe like reposition it somewhere else. So, okay, well, it's all for the cause. We're just gonna pull off your brothers. Sorry. He's like, ow, stop it. Um, And I think I'm actually gonna pull this row off. I don't love that seam like that. I'm really mostly just showing you guys this for demonstration purposes of like what size tiles, what size jar, and then for whatever your project is, you know, you can make the adjustments you need to make. I just like to see what the materials look like, like on something. And they go from five to four members and then ultimately down to three because there was just like a bunch of drama with the girls and I don't really know or even care about like what all the drama was. Like two of the girls apparently weren't happy. Their management probably because Beyonce was the focus. That's my assumption. I don't really know. Again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But yeah, I mean, she was probably the main talent too. So <sighs> there's that. All right, let's see. How are we feeling about this? This feels like it was way too easy. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like I needed it to be more difficult. I don't know, hold on. I'm just like bend these in and see. I mean, when you're trying to go around something round with square tiles, um, what can you really expect? It's like off center. Should I take it off and reapply it? What do you think, guys? Nope, <laughs> that's the answer, I should not. He's representing them, their career's taking off. It goes from five to four to three, ultimately members. Jess was like really apparently not having, like not feeling Beyonce at all. And I don't really remember this, but um, I guess like, you know, she was in a bunch of heat with the press over maybe the way that the other members got kicked out. I don't really know the whole tea. If y'all know, let me know. Anyway, so ultimately they come out with, and this is when it was still, um, oh, by the way, the girls band over time, as it progressed in not only numbers, they changed their name, I think a couple of times, um, but it was ultimately named Destiny's Child. And that was apparently inspired by a passage in the book of Isaiah. Interesting fact. Okay, so cute. Only leaves little homie here. And even though he's gonna be the fastest, I have to mix epoxy because I don't like to put, I know you can put, uh, what do you call, glue and then put the glitter, but I feel like it gets everywhere. Whereas when it cures with epoxy, it's pretty much, uh, it's they're together for life, okay? I'm just gonna mix up the world's smallest batch. And this is like the oldest epoxy, but I don't really care because no one's ever gonna see it. 
So we're just gonna mix up, uh, this cup has little markings on the side, how much I'm using. We'll do 75 milliliters. I love these little cups, by the way, because you can just chuck them when you're done. I do have silicone ones too, for like when I mix bigger batches, so I'm not like wasting girls. Um, hold on, let me get this mix and then we'll get back to the tea. Oh, and if you guys have, apparently I don't know how to add. This is a terrible thing to find out. All right, there we go, we're going with that. Again, it doesn't matter if it's like 100% perfect because it's just meant to hold the glitter. Ooh, that stuff is sticky. Okay, we're gonna use our um, jumbo craft sticks. So anyways, we have to stir this for a couple minutes. So this is where I'm gonna finish telling the rest of this story as I recall. And apparently just like some fun facts that I found out, um, I didn't know this. And it's hard to imagine Beyonce being insecure about anything because she's Beyonce. She's beautiful and talented and all the things. Um, apparently she was like really insecure about her ears when she was younger. I don't think I've ever seen her ears, so I don't know if that's warranted or not. But regardless, I thought I'd mention it because you know, even people like Beyonce are insecure about things. Bet she probably doesn't give it much thought now. Did that album Destiny's Child did called Survivor, which everybody knows that song, you knows that album, right? And I think that was sort of, from what I understand, that was Beyonce's, not like an F you to the press, but like she was saying like, okay, whatever, you can drag me, but you know, I'm not going anywhere and I'm here and get used to it basically with for her. Press is gonna love you, then they're gonna hate you. Okay, whatever. I am so excited to see this movie and anybody that got to go to any of these tour performances, I'm jealous, okay? You must be peanut butter because I am jelly and I wish I could have gone. And if you did go, um, let me know. What was it like? I put together like a um, Amazon idea list um, for all the products that are it's like the shiny cowboy hats and boots and all that nonsense. So if you want to get stuff like that for people that you know for Christmas, I put together an idea list and I'll link it down below. Um, cause if it glitters or it's shiny, uh, I want it. So I don't know about y'all. Obviously this whole time Beyonce's career is being managed by her father. And then I think it was like in around two, like the early two thousands, she decided that, um, she was, I don't want to say like, Oh, I'm done with destiny's child, but that she was going to strike out on her own. I don't really know what the catalyst was for that, but regardless, thank God she did. And she became queen bee Beyonce and her followers are called what? Like the beehive. Oh, and did you know that Beyonce's first concert was Michael Jackson, who she said she was heavily inspired by, which that makes sense. Man, he could put on a show, right? He was like, can you imagine if TikTok had been around when Michael Jackson was alive? Like, I mean, like when he was in his heyday, whew, those would have been some viral videos for sure. She goes out on her own and then she starts to have this like mega career, you know, as we know, we've all watched her rise to international superstardom. And then in, I think 2008, she married Jay-Z, but I feel like they were together for a long time before that, but maybe not. She marries Jay-Z and um, they have their first daughter, Blue Ivy Carter in 2012. By the way, Beyonce's full name is Beyonce Giselle Knowles. It may be something else. I don't think she took Jay-Z's last name. Does Jay-Z have a last name? I don't know. Apparently, I don't know enough about these people. So they had Blue Ivy Carter in 2012. And then I'm not sure what album it was for, but apparently, I just thought this was a cool fact. Um, Beyonce filmed like a music video for apparently all 17 tracks on whatever album it was that she dropped. And she released them all at once, which is like, <laughs> I mean, way to raise the bar. That Chica, you did it. <laughs> That's why they call you Queen Bee. So she goes on continuing to have this just like amazing career. She's had multiple Super Bowl performances. She sang for uh, former President Barack Obama's inaugural ball. I mean, the woman has, if there's a bucket list, I'm not sure any of her items are unchecked. All right, this is almost ready, which is so exciting because this is the one I was the most excited about. I think it was like in 2016, like 2015, 2016 like people do. There were rumors about whether or not Jay-Z had engaged in some dalliances, uh, extramarital affairs. Now, I'm not going to get into all that because that teeters on gossip, which I don't do gossip. Like I'll report on what I research, but I'm not, I'm not going to report on gossip. Supposedly, or however you want to say it, that happened. And then in an attempt to work through that, she comes out with, and guys, I know that there's like a ton of air bubbles and I'm sure most resin people are like losing their minds right now. Like, 
There's so many air bubbles, but remember, nobody's gonna see it. So it's okay, take a deep breath, relax. We're just having fun. So supposedly he was doing whatever he was doing and she made the decision to stay and to work through it. And if you've ever stayed through that, then you know it's a multi-phase approach from denial, anger, acceptance, forgiveness, all the things. It's a multi-year evolution, if you ask me. And um, so that album, which I think was called Lemonade, uh, was apparently that's what was going on during that time. And then in like the next year, they have uh, Rumi and Suri Carter, I think are their names, the twins. Okay, so now this is mixed. So we're gonna, I just get these like packs of these brushes. They're so cheap because once you use them in the epoxy, it's over. Ooh, I need to put your hat back on before you cut somebody. He's like, I'm gonna cut you. Oh, I'm getting so distracted because anytime glitter is near me, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And she also apparently has like Parkwood Entertainment. I mean, this lady has got her hands in everything from Queen, for real. Like no shade. I have nothing but respect for Beyonce. And however you want to feel about whether he did or didn't do that, she stayed, whatever. That's your business. I, I'm not going to get involved in that. That's a personal decision. And whatever her decision was, it was, and uh, make those decisions for other people because I don't want them making me f them. I don't want other people making those decisions for me. I don't know. How do y'all feel about that? I'm killing time real quick while I'm painting on the epoxy. As Parkwood Entertainment, and then I think she also has like an activewear brand called like Ivy Park Activewear or something like that, which I've never heard of, but now I'm going to go look because. Lord, can you imagine? Like Beyonce does everything with such flair. I need to see what this stuff looks like. So I will, um, I'll try to find it and link it down below because I did not know anything about that. Oh yeah, so some other fun little facts. And again, there are some things that I just don't get into because like I said, it kind of teeters on gossip and you know, I'm not here to ruin anybody's life. But apparently the her parents divorced when she was like in high school because he focused when the dad left his job at Xerox to focus on managing her career. Uh, apparently the mother was the one who owned the hair salon. Apparently that caused like a lot of stress and strain on the marriage, her being the primary breadwinner, which makes sense. And anyways, apparently they ended up divorcing in like, well, I don't know, whenever Beyonce was in high school. Beyonce was managed by him, I think all the way up until like around 2011, he was still her manager. At that time, she kind of like struck out on her own and wanted to manage herself, which makes sense. Yeah. And he has his own, like, kind of like a star search. It's called, um, like, Knowles Talent Search or something like that. But yeah, I mean, that's that's what I know. So yeah, that's, that's all the tea, all the drama for today. Well, it's not even drama. But I hesitated to call it DIY and drama because I don't want people to think I'm like on here throwing shade. Y'all, this glitter glass, which is not cheap but let me just put some in my hand so you can see beautiful do y'all see that oh good lord which is why you see me doing it in a bucket so i can capture all of it and put it back in this bag that doesn't end up in the bottom all right so i'm gonna let it get tacky for just a second Ooh, get off and i have so much left i was thinking about hold on i have this other it's just like regular silver glitter should I do one more bottle so that we can see regular? I think I'll do it. But I don't have any more drama, so we'll have to talk about something else. We'll talk about some personal drama. I don't have any personal drama. This is beautiful. We can talk about this, uh, whatever the heck is going on health-wise in China. Y'all, have y'all heard about this? I'm not gonna get too far into it because I'm not trying to get my video banned, but say some stuff to pay attention, right? See, I always miss like a little bit. Whoopsie. Like you think you have it and then you realize, no, you didn't. Just sprinkle, sprinkle. And guys, I'm telling you, like it's so much better to do it with the epoxy because once it cures, it just doesn't like mess around. So I have to let that cure first. But one of the tricks, once it's cured, I can't do it right now, is to go over it with a brayer to just like really press it in. All right, so since we already have, get one more. Cause I'm just getting crazy now. All right, hang on. I gotta get rid of this though. So I don't waste this stuff. Oh no girl, we will not be wasting you. So y'all tell me, who should I profile? I'm only gonna do these, the DIY and drama stuff like once a month, I think, I don't know, we'll see. But um, this is why we use a bin. I literally got this from the Dollar Tree guys. It's just a, um, it's made by Surefresh, whoever that is. Um, get in there. And then you waste like barely anything and I, 
love that because I'm not a waster. This is glitter glass by Meyer Silver. So it has real silver in it, but it, it is kind of sharp. So, you know, <laughs> be careful. Okay, we're gonna do this one like at warp speed. I know there's a little there. Okay, it's okay, relax. All right, we're gonna paint this one super fast because I don't have any more tea to share with you guys. So I guess let's just talk about the holidays. What's going on with y'all? I know that um, obviously Thanksgiving's over and Christmas, today's the 1st of December, which means that it's only 24 days until the madness of Christmas. I love Christmas. It's my absolute favorite holiday. I'm gonna show these to y'all all like stacked up against one another here in a minute. So stay with me. I know this is a longer video, but I don't know. Thought it would be fun to talk about something cool while we were doing this craft. Who's traveling? Where are you guys going? Are you worried about this whole, um, the heck is going on in the health situation with respect to your travel plans that concern you? We are not traveling this year, so I am not worried about it. But if we were, I don't know. I think I would be worried, but I'm not sure. Cause I don't know enough yet. If y'all know stuff, let me know. I know that I personally had pneumonia up until a week ago, which was so weird because I haven't had pneumonia in like 15 years. And then all of a sudden I just get like super sick and I have it for weeks and it was terrible. I had this awful cough. It was, it was not the best, uh, it was not the best, but we're over that now. So moving on, what are you guys going to do for Christmas? Is anybody doing like a specialty themed Christmas tree? And ooh, that was, now, obviously guys, I'm doing these on these little two ounce jars because I don't want to waste like big jars because I'm going to start doing all kinds of crafting. <laughs> My favorite part. I am like a sicko. I am obsessed with glitter. Like I have, not even joking, like some of my friends are like, girl, you're the glitter queen of the South. Like you have a problem. Like if your children did not keep it moving, you probably glittered them. Um, yeah, I might. I can't say no to that because it, it could happen. Oh, that is so pretty too. Mm. Good God. Well, I will clean this up after I'm done filming, but let's get a look at them now. Good God, these are beautiful. Stop it. Beyonce herself would be proud. What do y'all think? I mean, this would be so cute to like, you know, I mean, if you guys were having like a, like a bridal shower or whatever, you could fill these with like shots or party favors or whatever. Put like your little makeup brushes in here. And especially if you did this on a bigger mason jar, it would be so cute. Oh, for reference, and I showed it in the unboxing, but this is like three inches tall and an inch and a quarter across. This is so beautiful. But you guys, I mean, sky's the limit. You could use these for spice jars, all kinds of things. So let me know what you would use these for. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's do one of the glitters. This is the glitter glass. So this is the one that has like actual silver. Oh, this thing is, that's making my heart rate increase. That's not even a joke. See, I have a glitter problem. I, I genuinely do. That is so beautiful, <laughs> Lord. And then, nope, hold up. We don't want to be on glitter overload. And then this is the mirrored one. Then this is the one that I just decided to randomly do. This is like this, the regular chunky glitter. And I have to be careful because these two are wet. So I'm gonna have to hold them. I know the two y'all really want me to compare are these two, right? And I'm gonna do a comparison video once these all dry and everything, but oh, glitter glass, traditional glitter. What do you think? What's your favorite? It's like Target, Walmart, but they're both beautiful, good God. I mean, imagine having this like on your counter in the bathroom to like put your toothbrush in. Oh, oh, these are so pretty. And then this is the rhinestone and mirror one. What's your favorite? For me, it's definitely gonna be the glitter glass. That is just, oh, it is fire. All right, so let me try to lay them down. See if I can do that without absolutely destroying these separately um, to tell you what I think about them. But I just wanted to show you like what they look like when you actually put them on things because I find that very helpful. I think like if I were, if I had access to Beyonce's dressing room in like a non creepy way and I could put this, like put these on her, her vanity, you know, and like put little flowers, I think she would love these. These are so cute. So cute. And guys, you know, it's Christmas time. So make some gifts if you need to. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to do this at least once a month, the DIY and drama. If you have a suggestion about who I should look to for next month, let me know. And if you want to see the product reviews or comparisons, 
subscribe. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, happy crafting. Enjoyed crafting with you while learning about Beyonce and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.